Hey guys! Hi! You're watching Marvel Live, and we are with world-renowned cosplayer Yaya Han. Hi guys! <laughs> oh my gosh, your costume is incredible. And you guys, spoiler alert, mm -hmm. this is from Marvel's Becoming series, isn't it? Yes, yes. So, um, I love... I love Gamora, but um, I really like this design from the comic books. Mm -hmm. And then um, you guys asked if I could be a part of the Marvel Becoming cosplay feature series, and I thought, yeah, it's perfect to make for it. And um, was a little more complicated than I thought. <laughs> Took about four weeks of my life. Whoa. Yeah. But I got, I'm really excited, and I can't wait for the episode to come out. Um, I think uh, you guys get to see a lot of the details up close. It's going to be great. Yeah, yeah. Have you done another, any other versions of Gamora before? Or is nope. this first? I've never done a version of Gamora oh, wow. before. And, you know, I originally I had wanted to maybe do Gamora from the movies. Mm -hmm. um, and then I thought, you know, this is such a neat design. It really shows, you know, what, what a warrior she is. And, you know, she's... Um, I kind of liked the idea of doing something different because I'm very known for sewing costumes, right. mm. and I wanted to, um, you know, do a futuristic armor, which is first time for me. So it's sort of stepping out of your comfort zone, and you know, also going after a character that you, you know, a few years ago I would never probably have attempted because I didn't have the skills at the time. Yeah, you know, I've actually, I've watched some of your videos and things that you've posted or like your social posts where you kind of start building different pieces of costumes mm -hmm. or you'll be like, oh, I'm just working on this. And it, they're always so intricate and there's so many pieces. How many pieces is this? Oh, Do you know? hundreds. Can I guess? Oh. Hundreds, you, wow. I, I don't even 246. know. 246. I, I, How many bones do you have in Probably more than that, Five. actually. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's a problem. Uh, just the torso has about 50 pieces in it. Wow. And then, you know, everything, a lot of other pieces, pe plays, um, uh, they're all pieced together. It's all individual foam pieces wow. that have been cut, sanded, beveled, and then I coated everything in Epsilon Pro, which is a flexible plastic, so it's really durable. So yeah, yeah. I asked so you before really to, to punch me, because yeah, I can totally take like, it. Punch me. <laughs> I was like, all right, fine. Conk, hurt my hand. Yeah, well, it's it's nice to like I like having armor that is durable that can withstand a convention like New York Comic Con. Yeah. You know, I can weave through the crowd and somebody bumps into me, it's not gonna hurt me. <laughs> not gonna hurt yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I don't know if we could see them, but your mm -hmm. boots are super oh, they're cool. So killer. Yeah, and then yeah. like there is there a hole yeah. inside them? <laughs> like yes, uh, actually these. Boots oh, wow. kind of are reminiscent to are. Gamora's uh, boots from the movies a little bit. And so I was like, hey, I can still sort of like bring a little bit of that movie element into it. But um, oh, the whole thing is sort of like the Marvel versus um, Capcom, the, the new game. She, she wears Infinite. this version. Yeah, Infinite. And, of course, in the comic book series. And, you know, it was really um, Scott, um, J. Scott Campbell's uh, artwork, the cover, that sold me on this design. Oh, yeah, this is so beautiful. He's pretty good. Yeah, oh, he's, yeah. You know, he's pretty he's inspiring, okay. you know. <laughs> but you still had to do a fair amount of sewing because all of those pieces are actually attached, aren't they? Yes, yes. Um, this is one of the one of those outfits where everything was made, mm -hmm. including the undersuit. And so this is a, a fabric called the Scuba Hex. That's actually um, my my fabric line that's available at Joann's. Just because I thought it was really nice uh, and sort of had that utilitarian, futuristic look. So yeah, I made the bodysuit, and then everything is velcroed on. So I had to piece everything together and sew a lot of Velcro and, <laughs> you know, hope that it all fits. Um, it was quite the learning experience, which I think for, for someone like me who's been, you know, making costumes for many years, it's nice to um, push myself and do something unexpected. Um, and actually, the online reaction to this costume so far has been very mixed because I feel like people that have just seen the, the photos, they were so confused about... <laughs> seeing me in something that is not traditionally pretty, you know, like mm -hmm. they, they weren't, weren't maybe comic book uh, readers, so they didn't understand why the markings were there. And I, I thought it was a really, it was a good experience to, to see that, you know, I can still surprise people yeah. after yeah. all these years, you know? Totally. I, the, your, con your eyes are crazy, yeah. those oh. contacts. <laughs> like the, the colored contacts, they, do they feel just like normal contacts? Yeah, actually, okay. yeah. This is this is just um, this, these right are actually there. like the 
the contacts that um, that it wears. <laughs> oh. oh, you mean like but the yeah, like, yeah. This is what I think of a clown, mm -hmm. right? This is what a clown does. Yep, yes, T-Rex. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. It's the so, clown. Something like that. Sure. So, yeah. so, but I thought they really because it's like the makeup is so heavy that um, I did have to really think about how to translate it where where it didn't look so you know. Um, alien, and mm -hmm. it was really interesting to think back on Zoe Zaldana for um, the movies. She also really took a long time with uh, the team to develop a makeup that would not turn off. Wh what was it? The sixteen-year-old boys, you know, like <laughs> she had to look attractive, but still look, you know, uh, but still look alien. And so I really thought about how to make this look not so crazy out there. Um, and thankfully, I had uh, Mia Tamlin. Mm -hmm. She's an amazing makeup artist. She she's did, yeah, she did my- A lot of things with Becoming, yeah. Exactly, yeah. She's the makeup artist for most of the Becoming episodes, and she was on set and uh, airbrushed me nice and green and contoured. She did like, <laughs> she literally is like, all, I'm going to contour you and highlight you and everything. So I'm uh, really grateful for Mia helping me realize the makeup, you know? Do you have to do touch-ups during the day, or is it just like, you know, someone throws all the stuff on you, pff, you're good? Well, no, right? That's how every once in a while. Yeah, you got it. Okay. No, touch-ups, definitely. Like, you, you do sweat a bit, but um, this is alcohol-based uh, airbrush makeup, so once it's sealed with the final seal spray, it does stay on really well. I think I've only touched up once, so. How are you not passing out from, like, heat exhaustion? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't know. I thought I would be, pass I thought I would be sweating buckets, but yeah. so far it's it's not bad. I feel like if I move slowly, like, just don't expend that much energy. <laughs> you know? yeah. So Speaking of expending energy, something I think a lot of people don't think about when you're cos wearing a costume or mm -hmm. cosplaying in a convention is that a lot of it is posing with people. Oh, yeah. Do you yes. have some, like, mm -hmm. signature, signature kind of Gamora poses? Slash, I'm putting you on the spot right oh, now gosh. to show okay. us some sweet poses. Well, well, I didn't bring my weapons because New York is crazy, and I just didn't want to, you know, like... Solid um, choice. Yeah, but so, so, yeah, definitely some action poses. It's definitely about, like, dynamic, you know, like... How do you move where you show off all here, the armor pieces? I'll hold your it's mic. The, I want to let you It's about pose. the glare, I feel like. It's about so, the, you know. Here, like, will you give us a glare right there? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you just look incredible. I mean, really. Thank you so Come much. On. It's something totally different for me, and I, I hope that people like it. And please, I hope that everyone watches the Marvel Becoming episodes. I've been enjoying them so much. Just um, not only seeing details on the costumes and seeing them presented in such a you know beautiful way that but um, you know to learning about the cosplayers and you know why they're fans of the characters what what inspired them about the characters and it's I just I'm really thankful and happy that Marvel is doing them I hope that yeah. more cosplayers can join the the becoming series in the future because nope, I, I want to get done. to know all of them this is it. Right? Here's the last episode. <laughs> no that's all right that's all yeah right. yeah tore down it's over <laughs> But uh, where can fans follow you? Oh, yeah, you guys. I've been tweeting and Instagramming at Yaya Han every day. And uh, my go. Facebook is Yaya Cosplay. So check me out. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yaya. And now you can hang like Spidey with Ryan and James. James? Who? Who?